a triple threat of dangerous heat, heavy rainfall, and strong storms look pretty likely across the central U.S. starting this weekend and through much of next week. I'm meteorologist Nick Stewart, and let's take a look at the forecast. Here's kind of your overall synopsis, your top-level view of things. We're going to have that ring of fire pattern extending roughly from the Dakotas through southern Minnesota into Iowa, northern Illinois, into Indiana, and towards the Ohio River Valley. That area is where we do expect some severe weather, maybe potentially some damaging wind gusts, large hail, tornadoes, and heavy rainfall. And then south of that, likely under the dome of high pressure, the heat dome, dangerous air temperatures pushing your the triple digits with heat indices well over maybe 105 degrees. So that's kind of your top level view of things going forward. Let's talk about the heat. This will likely really start kicking in around Sunday through about Friday of next week. That area is where you can really see those triple digit air temperatures, especially heat indices, in that dangerous territory, maybe 105, 110 degrees, a combination of hot temperatures and high humidity. That looks pretty likely. On the northern fringe of that high heat, that is where we anticipate that active storm track, that ring of fire pattern. And again, this will likely play out Sunday through Friday of next week, where we do expect potentially daily rounds of thunderstorms around the northern fringe of those high, high temperatures. Now, we're also going to have a heavy rainfall threat as we head towards the weekend. This in part due to a tropical disturbance coming in from the Gulf that will pump a lot of moisture in the upper Midwest and also have some impacts with a lingering cold front after a round of severe weather potential on Wednesday. Let's start things off with this tropical disturbance in the Gulf. This will likely move through the northern portion of the Gulf, potentially strengthening into a tropical depression, maybe a low-end tropical storm before it makes impact around Louisiana, southern Mississippi, that area there. That will send a lot of moisture not only towards the Gulf Coast, but also send it northward towards the central U.S. as a fairly calm weather pattern. A big ridge of the jet stream allows that moisture to kind of sit and pool and with a lingering boundary in place that will be the fuel for some heavy rainfall potential you can look at it here on the precipitable water forecast off the european model you can see that big slug of moisture coming into the northern gulf and then it kind of slowly drifts northward that will combine with a lot of moisture already in place across the corn belt the corn sweat Kind of that evapotranspiration from all that corn crop adding a lot of moisture in the air. Those two things will add to a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. And that will be the fuel for thunderstorms and heavy rainfall as we head towards the weekend. When looking at kind of things climatologically, the precipitable water value, basically a measurement of the moisture in the atmosphere, that will be in the 90th percentile, and that could even go a little bit higher as confidence increases, as this is a bit of an ensemble-based forecast at several days out. But we're already looking at precipitable water values potentially pushing near 2 inches across portions of the Midwest. And we're also seeing some signal there of some higher-end transport, some stronger transport of that moisture in the Midwest as well, also in the 90th percentile. So a lot of moisture to work with as we head towards the weekend we're also again talking about not only that tropical layer but also that corn sweat and you can really see it here in that 925 millibar specific humidity basically a measurement of the humidity to mass ratio and the low levels of the atmosphere and you can see that's really really high end near records there in northern missouri near west central illinois that's in part due to the corn sweat that corn crop giving a little bit of extra moisture to the atmosphere when looking at 24-hour precipitation probabilities of at least one inch off the European model, we're seeing upwards of 30 to 40% already in southwestern Iowa, southeastern Nebraska, and northwest Missouri. That is for that first push of moisture coming in Saturday into Sunday. And then that Sunday to Monday slug of moisture, you can also see those 30 to 40% probabilities there in southeast Iowa, northeast Missouri, and much of west central Illinois. And again, at several days range still, that is a pretty high confidence forecast because we are still several days out before we get there. Looking at the precipitation anomaly off the European model, this is the ensemble. You can see that weekend rainfall threat pushing those anomalies 
more than an inch above normal for the time of year. And the Weather Prediction Center, their forecast, we have some rainfall coming in on Wednesday, especially across portions of far western Iowa, maybe northern Illinois as well. But the bulk of this moisture, especially in this area right here, this is with the weekend event. And we're talking the Weather Prediction Center forecasting an inch to two inches of rainfall and some spots maybe pushing two and a half inches of rainfall. So that's again a pretty high confidence forecast that we will be dealing with a lot of moisture as we head towards the weekend. Now let's shift gears. We'll switch from the weekend now to next week. We have a big dome of heat in the southeastern and south central portions of the United States. Very hot temperatures under a big dome of high pressure. That will keep the storms in check down to the southeast. But on the northern fringe of that heat, that's your ring of fire pattern. That's your storm track. And that looks pretty darn classic for like the Dakotas into Iowa, southern Minnesota, northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin towards Indiana, Ohio. That looks like a pretty classic ring of fire pattern where we could have the potential of near daily rounds of thunderstorms. I think it's not going to be raining all day. It's not going to likely rain every single day. It's not going to rain every single night. However, the potential is increasing that we're going to be dealing with a rather active period of weather, disturbed weather, as we go through much of next week, especially roughly Sunday through Friday. When you look at, again, climatologically, that heat dome, that 500 millivar heights are pushing near the 99th percentile across Georgia, South Carolina, Alabama. That just shows you how strong that heat dome is. And the 90th percentile is pushing all the way up to the Iowa-Missouri border. Meanwhile, you have 850 millibar temperatures here on the right, also in that 90th percentile across much of the central Mississippi River Valley, an indication of some very big time warmth there. And again, this is an ensemble based climatological forecast. So these probabilities and percentiles could increase as the models get better and better and the ensemble members get closer and closer together as opposed to kind of a range of outcomes. So this will need to be watched. But we're talking about some pretty impressive heat signatures. And again, on the northern fringe of the heat, we're talking about the storms. When you look at the precipitation anomaly, so this is total all the way through next Friday. So this includes the weekend as well as the next week weather pattern. And you can see the precipitation anomaly there for much of Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. This is pushing near an inch and a half. That is a pretty high end signal for above normal precipitation on an ensemble based product. So that really shows you where that weather pattern, that ring of fire pattern is likely setting up here. But if we look at the American product, the GFS. This is just the seven day anomaly. So this is primarily just Sunday through Saturday of next week. And again, you can kind of see that similar pattern there, that above normal, that anomalous weather pattern there of above normal precipitation across the central Mississippi River Valley towards the northern Ohio River Valley around an inch to an inch and a half above normal. So again, pretty big signals at this range of above normal precip. When you look at the analog approach, so taking a look at the weather forecast, what it looks like for early next week, and historically what has happened with similar looking weather patterns the rainfall totals here, the 72 hour, so three day rainfall totals around a week from now, around an inch and a half to two inches there, right there in southern Minnesota or southeastern Minnesota, southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, that tri state area there, that's a pretty big signal for above normal and heavy precipitation. So that active weather pattern looks pretty likely. Again, I cannot tell you with certainty what kind of severe weather you may or may not see, how much rain you may or may not see. But what we can tell you at this range is that the weather forecast looks quite active. The actual probabilities of above normal precipitation, again, based on the analogs, are pushing maybe 70-ish percent here. So that's, again, a pretty big signal for above normal precipitation across this entire region. And again, given the heat in place, the instability in place, the minor to maybe adequate wind shear in place, there will likely be some severe weather in this mix as well. So looking at the severe weather potential, this is again based on the analogs. When you look at the probabilities of at least one severe weather report, 
They're not high yet, but we're starting to at least get that signal here. We can kind of see that track there across Iowa into northern Illinois, northern Illinois towards Ohio, and then the Dakotas through Ohio the River Valley. You can kind of see this pattern persisting through much of next week. So basically Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We could be looking at a pretty prolonged stretch of active weather here. And then looking at the heat, that's the other thing that will likely be a major problem next week. The European Ensemble, the 50th percentile for air temperature is pretty remarkable. Again, at this range, when you're talking about a forecast about a week in advance, it's pretty impressive to see these percentiles and these temperatures. For Monday, we have air temperatures likely pushing near triple digits for Kansas, Oklahoma, towards maybe portions of southwestern Missouri. And then on Tuesday, that heat really expands. We start seeing those triple digit air temperatures pushing all the way up to the Kansas, Nebraska border, upper 90s across a huge portion of Missouri. And that continues on Wednesday. On Wednesday, you still have some triple digit air temperatures pushing into far northwest Missouri, maybe flirting with southwestern Iowa, mid 90s across a big portion as well. And again, this is an ensemble forecast. These temperatures are possibly maybe even a little bit underdone, all things considered. So the dangerous heat will be the other thing that we're talking about. Again, the weekend rainfall threat this weekend. We have the threat for an active ring of fire pattern, strong storms and heavy rain through much of next week, and the heat, the triple threat we'll be talking about for the next several days. Thanks for watching, everybody. Subscribe if you like this video. If you found it interesting, we'll do more videos and forecast discussions going forward. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.